weights. Or I'll go down and, and get on the, uh, the exercise machine or something or jump rope or something to, to keep myself from just thrashing in bed for the next hour or two. Do you have um, issues with sleep? Because I, I, I find myself with a lot of sleep issues. One of, my, one of the things that is my hobby is our, is our business. And I think about our business in some way, it's, it's all, it never leaves the back of my mind. And, and some people would say, man, that's a, that's a curse. I, I love it because, because the business is the freedom to me. And it's not without its frustrations, that's for sure. I mean, there are days, I've told, told you this before, Derek, there, there have been times when I said, you know what, man, a, a nine to five sometimes st- sh- sounds pretty good. But I think after a short period of time, I would, I would become unhappy. Because the business to me is the freedom to create. And, and that's what drives me is, is every day we wake up and there's nothing that limits us as far as what we can do. And there's nobody telling us, hey, you can't do this. So, you know, the tactical model, which is our newest investment model, you and I kind of put our he- heads together and we built that. Shameless plug. Man, it was a blast. <laughs> yeah, shameless plug. It was a, but it was a blast to build it. And it's a, it's a blast to manage it. And, and, and the results that it has for our clients. And I mean, I don't know. I don't know how I got on that path. But sleep. Sleep. Oh. <laughs> You're talking about sleep, yeah. So a lot of times I don't have any problem getting to sleep, but sometimes for some reason I, I will find myself waking up in the middle of the night and I'm wide awake and there's something in my mind. That it's a thought that maybe that was running through my subconscious and I either have to write it down, I have to work on it, or I have to get it out of my head. So yeah, that is a little bit of a curse, but I find myself a couple times a week, maybe that happens to me. Really? I, I'm more like, I kind of have trouble like getting to sleep and it's it's not necessarily like a lot of the stuff like we were talking yesterday just out of the blue like i'll have like some marketing ideas that pop into my head and it's not so much that it's not business stuff 100 percent of the time but a good portion of the time is just like when you spend eight hours a day thinking of stuff it's kind of hard to shut that off and it, i think it's a skill for some people to, that can just shut that off yeah sometimes it's like i mean i don't want to get in this isn't like a sleep episode or anything but yeah sometimes there's some sleep issues this gets into my idea of retirement. And I think in life that you know, everybody's version of retirement is different. And everybody's idea of a job or how they make money is different. To me, the traditional retirement, and this is going to sound funny because this is what we do for a living, Derek. The traditional retirement plan, this idea of, of working a job, maybe a job that you hate, but you're doing it because it's producing money and you spend all that time and you're banking money away, hoping to bank enough that one day that you can relax a little bit, enjoy life. And that, that doesn't sound like the perfect way to do that. To me, I would rather focus on something that you love to do, that you could do forever, and, and eventually you slow down maybe and, or pass it off or, or, or find something else to do. But there's so much time that we spend at work. Why not enjoy doing it? And so I know that sounds like I'm just saying, hey, just go find a job that you like to do. It's not, not as easy, easily done as, as said, but I think that it really is the time. And if you're a young individual and you want to think about what you want to do for the next 40 years of your life. I mean, money is certainly important, but uh, equally important is, is I think, think finding some, some pleasure, some fulfillment in what you're doing. And so when I say that I think about our business all the time, I don't know if I would want it any other way. I mean, I, 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 it's still, I'm not saying that it's detracting from the rest of my life. If I'm on vacation with my family, I'm, I'm still with them and having a great time. And, and that's my reason why I have a business is so that I can take time off and, and leave for a vacation and go with my family. But I don't think there's anything wrong with having it in the back of my mind because it's something that is important to me. So I think about it. Right. I think, I mean, just to touch on something that you kind of uh, glossed over, it seems like now, uh, like the typical views of like what a job is, is changing where it used to be, you would get a job at a company, work there for 40 years and retire, but that doesn't seem to be the case anymore, especially with my generation. It seems like we are being we're more focused on the stuff that makes me happy that we're or the stuff that makes us happy. And we would be more welcoming to like a decrease in salary. If it meant that they actually liked what they were doing, it seems to be a growing phenomenon because I mean, I, I mean, I, I always kind of hesitate to speak for an entire generation, but I think that we place a high emphasis on freedom and we don't want, we kind of see, like the downfall I mean because that's where you spend a majority of your life if you're working 40 hours a week at a job that you hate like nothing's worth that there's no there's not a price tag you can put on that where 
you just wake up one day and you're 65 and you have nothing to show for it except maybe some money in a 401k like that just sounds uh miserable yeah it sounds awful it, you got to find a way to and it, and hobbies maybe are a uh a way to get around that where if you don't like your job you can at least find fulfillment uh, after work but i think it's best to try to do something in your work life that you actually enjoy absolutely and there's nothing wrong with having like a part-time gig so so maybe some side uh, hustles well bills have to be paid right I, I understand that i understand why people do what they do and why some people work jobs that they hate because they have to make ends meet right and, and sometimes in life you're you know if you have a young child or uh, somebody who is dependent on you then you don't have a choice you got to step up to the plate and you got to be a be a man or be a woman and, and get the things done but that doesn't mean you have to accept it as uh, that's your sentence and uh, you know, that doesn't mean when I say, hey, you know, if you don't like the job, go create one. Well, easy, again, easier said than done. But what if you did it in steps? What if you found something that you love to do and you created a, a side hustle for it? And chances are, if you love to do it, you're going to be pretty good at it. You know, people pay for, for experts. And so whether you're an expert at crafting or if you're an expert at financial planning or making money or working on small engines or whatever that might be, I think that's the outlet you want to do is not just jump off and quit your day job right away, but, but create that, uh, that means for it. Maybe it grows into something else and maybe somebody else notices you and offers you a job, a job that you would love to work. Right. Yeah. And uh, I think that's an important point that if you, if you're, if you love it and you're really passionate about it, you're not going to suck at it. Like, I mean, you might suck in the beginning when you're learning it, but I mean, we were just talking like, uh, if you're really passionate about something, it consumes you. Like you lose sleep over it because you're thinking about it so much. You love it so much. It's like if you put that many, that much effort, that many resources into it, just over time, and you're not going to get bored of it. So it's like you would have no problem putting the hours in and getting really good at it, and people would compensate you for that. Well, that's your ten thousand hours, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, that's gonna. We're kind of bleeding into our next uh, topic: the the hobbies that make you money. 